Hello and welcome to the wiring tutorial for the new Panasonic Whisper Green Select Series fan and fan light units. Panasonic is pleased to offer the most technologically advanced, energy efficient ventilation fans, and Whisper Green Select allows the installer to customize the fan to suit your particular needs. As with all Panasonic fan and fan light units, the Whisper Green Select Series is UL listed for use in a tub and or shower enclosure when used on a GFCI branch circuit wire. It's best to have an idea of how you or your customer would like to have your Whisper Green Select fan operate before you start your installation. Depending on the desired function, you can choose from one of three wiring methods. We'll cover the three wiring methods in this tutorial and explain the fan's operation with each method. Before we get started on wiring methods, it's important to note that every base model Whisper Green Select is three fans in one right out of the box. You'll find a CFM selector switch on the fan's motor plate, which allows you to set the speed of a Whisper Green Select fan to 50, 80, or 110 CFM on the FEO5-11 fan and fan lights, or 110, 130, or 150 CFM on the FE11-15 fan and fan light units. Simply select the speed you would like the fan to operate at by moving the selector switch to the desired CFM. Upon opening the fan's junction box cover, you'll find that the Whisper Green Select contains black, white, and green wire leads along with two red wire leads on the fan only. The fan light units have an extra black and white lead for the light kit. The first wiring method we'll cover is the most basic installation method. In this method, We'll be wiring the fan for use as a traditional on and off spot ventilation fan, and we're not looking to add any of the plug and play modules offered for the Whisper Green Select. Wiring the fan with this method, we bring power from the electrical panel to a wall switch. At the wall switch, we attach the power conductor, the black cable, to the line side of a single pulse switch. From the switch, we continue the run with the power conductor, again the black cable, connected to the load side of the switch, up into the fan's junction box where it is connected to the power lead, again the black conductor for the fan's motor. The neutral conductor, the white cable, is connected together at the switch box and continues to the fan's junction box where it is connected to the white lead in the junction box. The ground wire is brought up to the wall switch and continues up to the ground lead, the green wire, in the fan's junction box. The two red wires remain untouched. There's no need to do anything with them. Simply leave the red wires capped separately and tucked into the junction box. Please note, you will need to adhere to and obey all local wiring codes. When using this method, it's important to note that if you choose to add any of the plug and play modules at a later time, they will only work if the wall switch is in the on position. Otherwise, there'll be no power to the fan, so any modules would be inoperable if the fan were in the off position. The second wiring method we'll discuss is for automatic operation of the fan. Using this wiring method, you would be using the motion sensor module and or the condensation sensor module to either turn the fan on or off, or if using the continuous run module to boost the fan from low to high speed. If you choose this wiring method, you will not have manual control of the fan. You'll be relying on the sensors only to control the fan. To wire the fan using this method, simply bring power from the source directly to the fan's junction box. Bring the power lead, the black conductor, to the black lead for the fan's motor, the neutral, the white wire, to the white lead in the fan's junction box, and the bare ground wire to the green conductor in the fan's junction box. With this wiring method, simply leave the two red conductors capped separately and tucked into the fan's junction box. The third wiring method we'll discuss is for manual control of the fan with a wall switch in conjunction with any of the plug and play modules. For this wiring method, simply bring the power supply from the source directly to the fan's junction box. Bring the power lead, the black conductor, to the black lead to the fan's motor, the neutral white wire to the white lead in the fan's junction box, and the bare ground wire to the green conductor in the fan's junction box. The red wires in the fan's junction box are signal wires that are designed to turn the fan from standby to on or from low to high speed if using the continuous run module. They are not designed to carry current. Do not attach power to these conductors. These conductors are connected to either side of a standard single pole switch. Turning the switch into the on position allows the fan to turn on or boost to the high speed mode by completing a signal loop to the fan's motor. With this wiring method, you can still use both the motion sensor and condensation sensor modules as secondary control. However, please note that these controls will only be active when the wall switch is in the off position. With the switch in the on position, the signal loop will be completed and the fan will be in the active mode. The motion sensor and or condensation sensor will not affect the fan at this point. However, if the switch is in the off position and the signal loop is open, the motion sensor and or condensation sensor will control the fan. When wiring a fan light model, you will need a separate circuit for the light switch as you cannot supply line voltage to the red wires. To wire a fan light, you can use two separate single pull switches and run separate circuits for the light kit and the signal loop for the fan motor. Or, if you prefer, you can use a single pull over single pull switch breaking the common tab on the line side of the switch. 
Use one switch to control the power to the light and use the other switch to control the signal loop to the fan motor. If you would like to use one switch to have the light come on when you turn the fan either on or to its boost mode, you can use a double pole single throw switch. Use one pole to control power to the light kit and use the other pole to connect the wires for the signal loop to the fan motor. Using this method, when the switch is turned on, the light will turn on and the fan will either turn on or move to its boost mode. When the switch is turned off, the light will turn off, but the fan will continue to operate at full speed until the delay timer times out.